Yeah, I'm upset. I'm, I'm, um, I'm more frustrated for um, the guys because, um, look, the game should have been should have been over at half time. It was, it, was a, it was a boxing match. It would have been ended, I think. The referee would have stepped in. Um, well, the referee did step in actually, in a way that was uh, very interesting, very confusing, to tell you the truth. But um, in saying that, um, we had all the chances. We had all the obvious chances to win the game. We didn't do it. Um, but I suppose uh, the one way one way I could look at it is um, where we've come from, from for Toronto, for the fans, where we look at is that you, the reigning champs come in here, and it's it was a performance that was um, extremely good, extremely, extremely good. And fortunately, it's very two very soft goals, and we haven't got our balance right yet um, in that midfield, and and you know maybe missing a couple of key players. But um, our balance wasn't right in the two goals. We were spectators, and in a, in a time when we had to be, you know, urgent and our intensity had to be focused, we um, we just hoped somebody would do their job, and um, and that was unfortunate. The role of a squad player of Toronto FC, a teammate of his, of just like every 24, 24 other players. He wants to win, so there's 24 other guys. But at the moment, we've got a good team. Hard to get into our team. And as you saw, if you saw the, the front four, uh, two strikes and the wide guys, you can see why. You know, I thought Don Oduro was absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, the guy should have been sent off way earlier. He, Gilberto, Colin should have been, that's, I mean, he should have been sent off. That's just a, that's just a, I mean, you know, an, an under 12 ref. Can pick that one. That's 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 you know pretty basic. Um, the strikers were dangerous to a wide. Jackson was a great goal, and he was dangerous as well. So it's a tough team to get into, not just for Dwayne, but for Andrew Wiedemann, for all these guys. That so then you know they've just got to keep going, keep working hard. Ryan, your your team kept pressing and, and had chances to win, as you said. Do you think that some of the, the number of yellow cards kind of distracted some of your players a little bit? What was going on in the field? Yeah. I mean, you know, when, when everything, when every decision they seem to give us a yellow card, and in every single major decision in that first half they gave to them, that does weigh on the blinds. You know, I was wondering, you know, what's going on here? This is, as I said, I mean, the Gilberto one is, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's, it seems so obvious and so, it's not even a question. It's, you know, he's pushed it past and the guy's taken him down and he was, he's on goal. So, you know, and, and, and you know, guys are human, players are human. You tell them to, you know, forget about all the decisions that went against you. Forget about all that. Forget about the, you know, the ridiculous yellow cards that we got and they got nothing. And just try and focus on the game. But they're human, you know, they're human guys. Ryan, when you guys uh, played Kansas City earlier in the season, it was 2-2, uh, better result. But would you say that the, the team played better on the morning and they're, they're kind of looking at a tra trajectory that will see them? Maybe in, into the playoffs and, and continue to improve where they'll uh, do well in the playoffs. Well, what do you think? You uh, you had a you had a go at us at, when we got a point at two two and you know criticised all the team and and everybody. Um, but I'd like to think that every fan that would walk away or reported would walk away and say that it's pretty obvious that this team is you know going in a direction. Hopefully that's that's forward. Remember, we didn't have Stephen Cordwell, Mark Bloom, and we didn't have Jermaine Defoe. You know, they're three pretty influential players on our on our team. We we didn't even have those guys, and um, so I'm really gutted for the for the lads because um, they put in a performance that I think you know people should be fairly proud of. And unfortunately, fortunately, it's a um, it's a it's a cruel game. It's a cruel game. Jackson wasn't thinking. Uh, he missed sure goals. At least they did. I covered. Is there a reason why he didn't pull it out? Oi, I thought he took his goal pretty oh, good. Yeah, I mean, I hope you don't inter interview Jackson. You might get a different answer. I'm going to give you two words. <laughs> Jackson had his um, the right back on on skates the whole night. He, he took a wonderful goal. He put himself in the opportunity to finish. Fortunately, he didn't finish. But there was a reason why he was uh, he was in those positions. It's not a fluke that um, you know. He, I'd be more worried if he if he didn't be in that positions to miss the goal. 
you know, or, to, or to, to at least not make the keeper save. I thought he was dangerous all night. Um, and again, I, I, I admire his, his, his ability to put himself in the position to miss. And generally, I'll pull people off. When they don't, they hang out in little areas where they don't put themselves in, in an area where they could make a mistake. And that's when you get dragged. Ryan, where would you put this on your list of frustrating nights as a manager? <laughs> <laughs> you always ask the good questions now, don't you? Well, I'd have to say, for me, it's like, you know, I'm, 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 more, I'm more with the guys, really, to tell the truth, that it's more frustrating for them because they feel like they've, we all know, we all, we're all moving, we're a, we're a good team, and we just got to get over this, you know, this, this little hurdle, we're so close, and I think everybody knows, I think everybody can see it, you'd have to be an absolute idiot not to see it, um, and we just, we just can't get over that little bit, you know, and that's probably what's a frustrating thing for me, but this is why it's such a great game, is nothing's given to you here, is it? You've got you've to keep working, take little steps, little steps, little steps, and eventually these, uh, these results will go your way and you'll learn from the stakes. And as I said, we've got some young guys, you know, still, in, you know, we had, you know, a couple of young players out in the back line and, you know, we're, we've still got some new players coming into the team. And, um, and um, I feel bad for the guys because we are, we are very close. Entirely unimpressed is probably an understatement on that one, to tell you the truth. Um, look, we, 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 you know, what frustrates me about that is that there's going to get, you know, balls are going to come into the box and things are going to happen like that. But there was there were some guys that were, were spectating and, and getting into nice, comfortable positions, but weren't influencing the game. They weren't helping out their teammates. You know, you should never be left alone as a defender one-on-one -on -one there because like you saw in the first goal and even the second goal, the little ricochets can bounce anywhere. So we have to have an intensity and alertness instead of spectating to help out our teammates in, um, in situations like that. But I thought we, we got into positions where it was comfortable, where if we'd won it, I'd be in a lovely wee position where I can get the ball kind of thing, you know. And that's a, it's a hardness that we've, we've lost, I think, that we need to get back. So, um, yeah, unimpressed is a... It's a bit of an understatement. How do you get that hardness back? Is it something you can impart? Is it just? Oh yeah, no, hundred, hundred percent. We um, we work on it. We work on it. We work on it. But um, you know, it was, and I think you saw it in the game, except for two times, and that's what's so frustrating for me because they didn't really have any, any chances. You know, the, the set pieces that we worked on all, all week, you know, that was good. It looked dangerous there, and the two chances they take was just a, a lack of concentration, and um. You know, as I said, it was um, that's the that's a probably disheartening thing. We we have to uh, we have to get back to this uh, hardness about ourselves. Is there, is there a word of that missing Stephen Caldwell on the back line in leadership? Well, no, I thought the guys did really well there, but yeah, it doesn't help when um, when your captain's injured, and it doesn't help when you know Mark Bloom is one of the most consistent players we've had all season. It doesn't help when you've got Jermaine Defoe not playing. But in saying that, we've built a squad now where even those three influential players are not there and you've taken on the, the so-called reigning champions of the league and, and you know, I mean, it was pretty obvious that that was, a, that was a game that they couldn't handle our transition. They couldn't handle the trans transition when we were going forward. They were fouling all the time. They I mean, should have been you know, another red card. And the, the explosiveness. And, um, and when we talk about, you know, the, the game kind of evolving, you know, seven, eight years or ten years ago, I was at a, I was at a coaching complex, um, thing, coaching course when they're talking about position, position, position. Five years ago, I was, I was in the one where the Germans figured out how to beat the position and talking about transition and transition, transition. And I thought our transition was just brilliant today, and we actually destroyed them on it. Is, is dropping points at home before the road trip? Yeah. Before games, yeah. 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 Yes. Hurts us. Oh, you can see it developing, of course. You can see it developing. 
Um, but I have the luxury of a comfortable chair in the sideline where I have a good view of it, unfortunately. And um, again, it's, it's, um, I take 100% responsibility for for this, for the for the loss, because we shouldn't be losing these these um, these type of games when you've when you've destroyed a team, when you've when you've beat them in every single facet of the game besides the besides the scoreline. It's um, I'll take 100% uh, responsibility for that. I, 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 in all honesty, it had a, had a bit of a feeling to it, and it had a bit of a playoff feeling to it. And it was nice. It was good. It was giving the, give the guys a bit of a taste of it. And um, I think so. I think that will be. Uh, I don't think it'll be the last time. You know, we'll see this. We'll see this. I think there'll be a few games coming up with Kansas City that will be that will be pretty heated in the future.